Yeah. So, you know, you want that person who needs most of the stage to get as much stage as possible. So usually the teammate will be like rushdown type, you know, keep the uh, attention on him. So the person who needs to set up can do that and get everything ready to kind of come in later uh, with their, I guess, you know, with their game plan. Yeah. So Steve, Pyramithra, Sora, and Lucina. Okay. Okay. So we got a lot of disjoints on screen right now, TK. And you want to talk about combo characters? Lucina and Sora are two of the best in the game at keeping opponents close by with their swords. Yeah. But then uh, you got Pyramithra on the other side as well. Not this man. Come on. <laughs> I, I think this is hand warmers. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm just talking about what he was building. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, my God. Literally the first gameplay we're seeing, and, and you go and do that, Yon. <laughs> come on, man. Yeah, so quick hand warmer. Uh, yeah, this, I, I mean, this technically there's four swords on this screen. If, uh, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> if, <laughs> if Steve decides to F smash. But, yeah, a lot of, a lot of sword action going on. But, realistically, three swordies and, and one... Uh, you know, set play character basically. You know, see how this uh, how this one plays out. Now, again, also one of the things I've noticed is that like uh, Sora came out, and even though everyone's super hyped for Kingdom Hearts, I really haven't seen a crazy amount of Sora representation. Yeah, not at the high level yet. I mean, we obviously heard Zachary a couple months ago uh, made a big tournament run. You got players like Schroeder Ame, uh, among others, picking up Sora. And you know, I think Sora would be really good in doubles just because. They have the ability to hit somebody and then kind of keep them off stage yeah. so that your teammate can just kind of take over if they need to. Uh, and then if Sora needs to retreat and come back, you got Lucina to go finish that off. And Lucina famously has a difficult time killing in this game unless she's edge guarding. And Sora is a character that could absolutely push you off stage and, and set Lucina up perfectly. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, hopefully that's something that, uh, that pays off. Sora, obviously, anybody that can kind of hold someone in place is always going to be good for teams. So if Sora ends up hitting... Uh, uh, straight, you know, a rising neutral air. He can definitely start getting those combos going with the neutral air fast fall, uh, second hit, and see what he can get off that. Just to hold someone in place so that Lucina could probably get over there and, and hit with a strong F smash, up smash, or back air. But yeah. we'll have to see how this one plays out right at the beginning. A clank right in the middle. So uh, immediately right now, it seems like Yanni's going to be retreating to uh, go get his blocks. Yep. While Waidu just cleans up and, and, and keeps the opponents occupied. And they're doing an amazing job of that right now with those big hitboxes. I feel like if anybody can do do a two v one, and just getting a couple straight hits in there, it's going to be uh, Mithra. You know, right. very fast character. You know, being able to throw out stuff like quick neutral air, quick forward air, up air, all that stuff. If it hits, you're going to send your opponent away just for enough time for you to be able to come up there and do something. So. Yeah, and you know, despite how uh, tame of a start of the match it was, with Pyra and Mithra going into a two v one, and and we just see uh, Yanni going for materials. Early in, early on, it looked like the percents were actually in the red team's favor, but blue team's taken over in a big way, and they're doing a good job of, of splitting the team and keeping them on the other sides of them so they can get significant, strong combos. Oh, for sure, man. Look at this. Uh, pretty uh, good percent lead here developing for the red team, regardless, though. I mean, like, that was a pretty decent, uh, or for the blue team, uh, that was a pretty decent idea for Yanni to get all of his materials right at the beginning, and even though he does have his materials, it doesn't seem like it's helping him out too much, does uh, is able to survive that up smash, but first stock going to be dropped here from the Lucina, though. Yeah, you oh. always got to watch out for Pyro when she's on screen, man, because she could get kills like nobody's business. Some of the strongest tilts and smash attacks in the whole game. Right, and up to not going to be enough just yet, but Yanni living to see another day. I, I like that. Why do you just kind of be in the wall? So Yanni goes uh, up and above, and what would have been like a less, you know, very unsafe uh, recovery if someone could get over there in time. Could not get past Waidu, both of them stuck on the right side yeah. as Yanni recovers. And with the uh, you know high percent heroics uh, that Yanni's exhibiting right now, we're seeing the red team kind of come into form, and uh, both opponents on the blue team are at kill percent. Actually, uh, Opana, or excuse me, Walla is going to be losing their stock first with a smash attack. Yeah, Opana was able to get that stock off. Oh, okay, off the uh, uh, Steve with that dash attack though. So luckily for um, for Sora, you know. Definitely has that as an option. I think uh, having a dash attack kill as an option is always a good thing for your character. Oh, yeah. If you have a burst option that can uh, take you all that distance and also clank well and kill, I mean, it's an amazing option that Sora has on the table. But it's not doing them a lot of good. I mean, Opana is staying alive in a big way. But, again, Sora is light, and that forward air is going to be killing off the top. Why do? I think getting pretty much every kill for the red team right now. Yeah. I mean, and but he's playing uh, super effectively, too. You know, with with uh, within this... Here doubles like it is kind of interesting to know. If, like I think you can you can actually go get away with playing just Pyra if you really wanted to, but yeah. it's still nice to see the swaps from the oh. Pyra Mithra. Jesus, okay, hold That's on. That's nice to both of them, TK. Yeah, and it, it, it was a worthwhile trade. 
You know, there's now the two socks to uh, one. A 2v1 happening here. And honestly, this is more like a 1v1 as Yanni's over here getting more materials. Yeah. Okay? He's well endowed with his iron right now. He doesn't yeah. have diamonds, but uh, he's got... Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All Why right. is he just holding it? <laughs> I like that, man. All right, and why do getting both of them in the rapid jab? Opana fighting for his life right now. Yeah, I like that idea that Yanni did though. If uh, why do it let go of that jab, that probably would have been the exact trajectory that uh, Opana would have went. So that L smash should have hit. I don't know if it would have KO, but he does have, uh, you know, he does have some pretty strong tools right now. Yeah. In a minute. Oh, is he too low? No, he makes that back. It's Steve. No, it's oh. not. Okay, well. A little bit of a flub from Yanni, and he's given an open window to opponent to take this thing back. But why do that? No percent, and has been kind of taking heads the entire match. I do think every stock was taken there by why do. Yeah, we got to see those. Uh, we're gonna see those stats real quick. Man, gotta give it up to uh, why do on that one for sure. At the end, they're too quick. Yeah, we're too quick. <laughs> I think going into this thing, we definitely thought uh, Yanni was gonna be the one carrying. Yeah. But no, nah, I, I think I think Y do is the uh, special ingredient to this team. Yeah, yeah. And he is uh he's playing uh quite well and doing what he needs to do to allow Yanni to first to get uh you know his tools and whatnot. But at the same time, even without Yanni having his tools, he's just fighting well. Yeah. You know, like he's fighting in two v one as if like Yanni's not even there and he's trying to win the set. So. <laughs> Got to give it up to got to give Waidu on that one. Honestly, just like handicap it, have Waidu come in with six stocks, and <laughs> and against against the two you know opponents, I think he'd be fine. Yeah, I mean, look, I just said look, he might have got every single kill there. It's six, it's, it's five or six kills. There's no way it was four. Like he hit, he was hitting some KOs though, and uh, he was doing you know he was making um, situations for. Yanni to kind of capitalize on. He was giving Yanni space. There's a lot of things that uh, were going right in that matchup for the blue team. So right. red team on the other side of things, man, I really can't say that they were playing, like, bad. No, they weren't. I, I mean, they, they made it a last stock situation. Yeah. I just think YD was playing exceptional. Yeah. So, yeah, Honestly, that could be the strategy coming into this, too, from uh, Yanni and YD. It's that they used Yanni as a decoy. Because, you know, Yanni immediately just, whenever they don't have enough materials, they you know, run off, go start mining and everything. And you have Y do just kind of take the brunt of the force of the opponent team. Yeah. Meanwhile, they're doing well. They're very good at that. Yeah. And you have Yanni getting the resources they need in the background. All right, man. So yeah, hopefully, I mean, there's a lot of deliberation here on the uh, on the red team side on what stage they're trying to go to. But uh, I don't know, man. Like I feel like sometimes it's not really about the stage, especially in doubles. I feel like doubles is way less about the stage and more more about your team synergy. Yeah, uh, unless you go to town because, yeah. you know, town, you got those short horizontal blast zones you got to worry about. True, true. And that's, like, terrifying in doubles. Because, yeah, yeah. And, and doubles as a whole, that's why Pyra's so good here because, like, heavies are insanely valuable because you can just throw somebody into the smash attacks that are generally pretty hard to hit. And if you position yourself well with your with your teammate, you could do a lot. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like yeah, you're definitely right on that. Especially if they end up going to town, Pyra can – get a KO at like 60 with her F-Smash, so. Yeah. On like the entire cast, so you gotta watch out for that. But, didn't get a chance to see what they are, they're picking, we are getting back into, uh, oh, wait a minute. Okay, why, why do, I thought he was about to be on the me brawler for a second. Yeah, I, I definitely thought, you know, again, in, in doubles, there's four times the chance of a, of a character swap, but we're not seeing any, uh, both players, or actually all players, sticking to their guns, yeah. saying they could do this. Mid-set fist bump between uh, Yanni and Y do. All right. And we're going to Hollow Bastion, which is legal in this rule set. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, well, let's go ahead and... Uh, first of all, the stage should be legal anyway. I think, you know, obviously the one thing that it does hold the stage back is copyright. But, <laughs> you know, I feel like if you're not trying to monetize the video or you're okay with not monetizing the video, then it's whatever. You know, get in right. there, get some games going. So let's see how this one plays out as we get into our, uh, our second game between these uh, two teams. Now, one thing that Steve tends to struggle with in general is the fact that they don't have a tumble animation, so there's no hurtbox shifting if they get hit in the air. And I think that's kind of why Yanni's been struggling is because they are constantly the same size hitbox, and both players from the opponent team could just catch him up in the air, especially Sora, who's, who excels in aerial combat as a whole. All right. So, big, oh, big opening right here. They may be able to get too, too much off of that. Okay, I like, I definitely like the idea of the Thunder, but unfortunately, uh, Thunder, when you are that close, it's actually unsafe. 
So, you yeah. know, if, if the first one misses, you're getting up smash most likely, and that's exactly what happened. Or F smash. And it's so difficult for that move to connect every hit if your opponent's DI is good or if that they're at low percents. Uh, but right now, red team cleaning up yet again. No stocks lost from them compared to the three stocks lost by the blue team. Yeah. And uh, we have Walla on their last stock again already. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's that's not going to ever bode well for the team right here as uh, Walla, you know, last stock while the other team hasn't lost a single one. And that looked like that was actually going to KO off the top where he hit that on them. But I, I think he commented for both the, into that. But yeah, like that was like he was trying to make that happen. Yeah, I, I think I think Yanni recognized that their teammate was in a bad position where they could get caught off by two of these aerial sword-based characters. And they were like, I'm going to give you a higher recovery so that you're safe and they're not going to be able to hit you. Yeah. All right, so Walla is out of there. And uh, Opana is like, please do not take my stock. And we're um, going to see some uh, patented Sora planking probably uh, to try to mess up the, the red team. And, you know, we saw a situation similar to this where Opana was on their... Uh, last stock, and, and they were able to kind of hold strong. The problem is that there are four more stocks on the red team than last time. Yeah, and, and the thing is, like, so at this point in time, you know, I get that Walla may have not been playing amazingly, but you've now been without a teammate for a whole minute, and it didn't have to be like this. So No, it didn't. It's uh, finally losing that stock. I mean, good that, he, good that he held it, I guess, but at the same time, you know, thinking about it, just if you're ever going to make a comeback, I think your teammate had to be part of the equation. I mean, Walla may have not been playing so great on his stops, but he might have been able to do something with yours. Yeah, opponent's strategy is to kind of force both teammates to kind of pinch together. They're being very good with their mobility, uh, but the thing is, they're pushing Steve and Pyra together so that those hitboxes that are, are kind of big from both characters might actually end up clipping each other and you know distracting from the Sora. All right. Oh, that block was perfectly positioned right there to make sure he didn't die off that dash attack. Yanni thinking a couple steps ahead. Oh. He okay. can make this. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I didn't know what he did at first. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, that wall is huge, man. <laughs> the Great Wall of China built. And also going to be giving Why Do the support to go for that F smash. That's a 2 0 for Yanni and Why Do, a team that might be a dark horse to win this thing. All right. So he showed his hand <laughs> a little bit. He had, he had already did hit that same S smash on the first two blocks before that. Like he, kn you knew what you, you he wanted to do. The block situation was just to, uh, you know, make sure that his he didn't lag for super long when it came to, um, you know, hitting his S smash. So every, every you hit the F smash, the block breaks, then you know you have less time. So walked directly into that, got his back chopped in half. Unfortunate. Yeah, dude. Uh, what a brutal way to start off. I mean, that was a all around mugging. You know, Opana made it close uh, at the end of game one, but. Rest of that, that why do and Yanni looked commanding there. Yeah, I, that man, that second game, that was that was not it for Walla, man. I, I the thing is, I feel. Like